Time for Seven Sports with Josh Moser. Hi, everybody. Welcome out live to Boston and TD Garden. Heat fans finally able to exhale after a crazy Game 3 finish here at the Eastern Conference Finals. Miami was at 15 points at the break, up 15 points in the third. So a crazy fourth quarter with the lead cut to one. However, Miami able to pull it out down the stretch, taking a two games to one here against the Celtics in Boston. In case you missed it, let's go through this. It was phenomenal here. First quarter, Bam Adebayo aggressive to start. 12 in the first, heat up 21 after one. Second quarter, Jimmy Butler heat up 15 at the break. However, Butler did not return with right knee inflammation. Let's fast forward now to the fourth. A 26-point lead is down to one. Jalen Brown had a game-high 40. Exhale, Heat fans, hold on a minute. Roughly a minute to play. Shot clock winding down, and we're going to call him Big Shot Bam. Had 31 on the night. That put the Heat up six. 50 ticks left. Kyle Lowry will come up with a big defensive play. He'll get it ahead to Max Strews, who takes it the rest of the way. The Heat hang on to win 109-103, regaining home court advantage, now taking a 2-1 series lead. I need to pick up my weight. Um, you know, these last couple of games, uh, my team been depending on me and I haven't showed up. So, you know, I took it upon myself to lock in and just you know, get the win. Exciting finish here in Boston. Hopefully it's the same tomorrow night for the Panthers. Right, Donovan? That's what we hope, boss. Hey, this Hi, Joe and Robin. Thanks so much. Welcome to Beantown, everybody. A big help, hopefully, for the Heat is that they will have a full roster for the first time this Eastern Conference Finals. When this team is healthy, we know how dangerous can be. Right now, it is a 1-1 tie. So a seven-game series is essentially now a five-game series for right to play for an NBA title. P.J. Tucker and Kyle Lowry will warm up with the intent to play tonight in Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Nothing is going on with me right now, so hopefully we're just doing round-the-clock treatment, just trying to get as healthy as possible, but definitely get ready to play. Tucker undergoing TENS treatment at today's shoot-around, left Game 2 with a knee injury, says no way he's not playing this evening. I'm going to go home. This is it. This is what you, you know, work for all year. Uh, stinks to not be completely healthy, but just doing everything we can trying to get the swell now. Lowry missing eight of the last 10 playoff games with a hamstring issue. His teammates and head coach know what it would mean to finally have a healthy version of their starting point guard back on the court at the most important time of the season. I mean, it's Kyle Lowry. The, I mean, the, you know, the resume speaks for itself. Uh, you know, you know what type of player he is, what type of, what he's capable of. He's done one, he's done been through you know, several game seven series. Uh, so just having him on the court, you know, just all that IQ and knowledge. Having him, Kyle, um, you know, back, you know, uh, we haven't had him really throughout the whole playoffs. So to have another voice, another leader out there, um, just to calm things down on the road, I think would be big for us. He wanted to play um, game five last series. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we've handled this uh, appropriately. I, I think even, you know, the ramp up before that in the Philly series, I think uh, we checked all the boxes. Things will happen. He didn't re-injure. I think that was important, so he's still able to heal. Now, really, the only player that has scored for the Heat has been Jimmy Butler. It is 70 points in the first two games. The Heat need to get him some help. We're going to talk about that coming up in sports. But for Time now for seven sports with Josh Moser. Hi, everybody. Welcome out live to TD Garden in Boston ahead of Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Heat and the Celtics. This series all tied at one. So far for Miami, Jimmy Butler has been the only player scoring in tonight. The Heat need to get him some help. And that starts with Bam Adebayo in the center of the floor. Bam averaging just eight points per game through the first two games of the series. The defensive All-NBA knows he must be more aggressive on the offensive end for Miami to win Game 3. I feel like it's in, within the range of, you know, trying to get guys open and the other, the other many jobs that I got. Uh, so, you know, one of those is the score. We want them more involved, and, uh, you know, I have to do a better job uh, of that, of uh, making sure that uh, he's involved, engaged, getting us the triggers. Uh, it might not necessarily be what everybody thinks it may be. But he's a, a very important part uh, of our offense and how we function. 
P.J. Tucker and Kyle Lowry will both warm up with the intent to play. This would be the first time that the Heat would be at full strength all season. If they can, that would be great going into Game 3. But this isn't the only playoff team right now in South Florida. For a look at the Panthers, we go live to Tampa and our Mike DePasquale. Hi, Mike. Hi, Joe. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Beantown. We have a very exciting night ahead of us for Heat fans. Game three of the Eastern Conference Finals. Right now, the series is tied 1-1. Miami is coming off a tough loss in game two, but they get a little bit of extra help tonight, and they believe that should lead them to a victory. P.J. Tucker and Kyle Lowry will warm up with the intent to play tonight in Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Nothing is going on with me right now, so hopefully we're just doing round the clock treatment, just trying to get as healthy as possible, but definitely get ready to play. Tucker, undergoing TENS treatment at today's shoot-around, left Game 2 with a knee injury. Says, no way he's not playing this evening. We're going to go home. This is it. This is what you, you know, work for all year. Uh, stinks to not be completely healthy, but just doing everything we can trying to get the swell now. Lowry missing eight of the last 10 playoff games with a hamstring issue. His teammates and head coach know what it would mean to finally have a healthy version of their starting point guard back on the court at the most important time of the season. I mean, it's Kyle Lowry. The, I mean, the, you know, the resume speaks for itself. Uh, you know, you know what type of player he is, what type of what he's capable of. He's done one. He's done been through. You know, several game seven series. Uh, so just having him on the court, you know, just all that IQ and knowledge. Having him, Kyle, um, you know, back, you know, uh, we haven't had him really throughout the whole playoffs. So to have another voice, another leader out there, um, just to calm things down on the road, I think would be big for us. He wanted to play um, game five last series. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we've handled this uh, appropriately. I, I think even, you know, the ramp up before that in the Philly series, I think uh, we checked all the boxes, things will happen. He didn't re-injure. I think that was important, so he's still able to heal. Both P.J. Tucker and Kyle Lowry will warm up with the intent to play. Hopefully there are no issues and this Heat team can be back at full strength. We'll keep you posted all the way up until tip-off here at TD Garden in Boston. Josh Moses, 7 News.